what good are superheroes without capes or what good are bathrooms without towels? Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai, I'm Kai and today we're learning how to make a type of material with soft body physics in Blender. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to delete the default cube, of course, delete the lamp and the camera. Uh, middle mouse button to move around my scene and one of my numpads to go in the front facing view. We're going to hit shift A or we can go over here to create and add in a plane of a mesh. All right, so now we have our bad boy right there in the center of the canvas. Hit S to scale this up just a little bit, something like that maybe. We're going to rotate this, RX90 on my keyboard. Oop, my num lock was off. Uh, let's do it one more time. <laughs> RX90, and that will flip right up like that. Uh, and what we're going to do here, we're going to drag this panel open so we can get a better view of what's going on. And we're going to hit tab on our keyboard. This will open up the edit mode in Blender. So we can hit subdivide a couple times in the tools tab up here. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, let's do five. Five looks good. Uh, you know, for now, let's just do four. So we'll, we'll hit subdivide four times, create this many squares. Doesn't have to be exact, but that looks pretty good for a starting point. All right. So uh, holding down shift and alt, we'll right click and select this entire top loop up here. This entire uh, this entire top section of vertices up here. That's all we need. Uh, so what we're going to do with that is we're going to go into vertex paint mode. And now we're going to try and, oh, not vertex paint, I'm sorry, weight paint mode. And what we're going to do is we're going to only paint on those top vertices. Those are the ones we're going to use. So we're only going to paint right there. It'll be pretty easy since it only uh, paints on vertices. We don't need these two down here. We don't need these down here. So we're only going to do these ones up here. Just those you can drag straight across, make sure that it's all solid right up there. And we are good to go. That is all we need to do, actually. So what we're going to do is now it created this vertex group in the uh, in the normals panel in the in the blah, 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 blah. I just did one, uh, yeah, the object data panel. <laughs> I just had that problem in one of the other videos. Uh, it created this group uh, called group. So what we're going to do is we're going to double click that and we're going we're gonna to change that to uh, cape. Why not? It's going to be a towel, but we call it cape. Why not? So when we go to the physics tab, we can hit cloth. And when we do cloth, you can tell that we have pinning up here. So if we go to pinning, what we can do here is we can, if we turn that on, we can actually select cape. Now, when we select cape, you'll be able to see that we now have physics. You very, very slowly tell if I go in, I rotate this. So let's rotate this just a little bit so we can see what, what's going on here. I'll rotate that just like that so you can see exactly what's happening when this when this animation plays. If I go back and I play this, you should be able to tell that the animation now, it is pinned up to the top vertices. These up here, it is now pinned to that. So pretty much think of this as you just like tacked or nailed or taped this top this top section to like a wall or something and this is a cloth that just fell on it so a, a easier way you can see this is if i go to weight paint again and i get rid of these vertices some of these vertices so I, if i subtract a couple of these like we only leave the ones in the center you should be able to tell that when we go back to object mode and play you should be able to tell that the cloth only uh, the only the cloth only stays put like it's on a hook in that specific area but this doesn't look this doesn't look too good since it's kind of blocky so the way we can fix that is we can go over to the modifiers tab over here and we can hit add modifier subdivision surface and now oop, i missed i was trying to leave <laughs> uh, subdivision surface so that'll make it a bit smoother as you can tell so we can bump that up to like two or maybe three make sure you bump up the render as well and you can hit smooth shading on over on the side so that looks much better now but it's doing this really weird ripple thing the way we can fix this is if we go back into uh weight painting I want to make sure that all of these vertices are not selected over on the sides. I mean, we can actually redo this. Just oops, make that not play. All right. <laughs> so we can add a couple. We'll add like one or so on the corners just right there. So now it will only pin on the corners. So let's do that and play one more time. So now it pins on the corner, kind of like a towel. But the gravity is kind of messed up. So what we need to do is we need to go down here and uh, you can play around with a lot of these, these, uh, these steps down here in the damping. A lot of this damping is making it move faster or slower. The velocity is one of the things that's doing that. So if we turn it all the way down, you'll be able to tell that it's going very, very slow now. So if I turn it back up to one, it goes much faster, just like how cloth moves. Um, but that's obviously, you know, it's continuously moving. So we need to turn the air up a little bit to make that stop a bit, maybe up to like point, point 0.2, depending on the type of material you're using. So that is pretty much it to make a cloth. That is, it's one of the simplest things to do in Blender ever. So if we get a good frame to pause this on, something like uh, like that looks pretty good. 
we can actually uh, keep this forever. We don't have to mess around with this at all. So if you want to just keep this, if you're making a still picture, an image instead of a animation, you can actually go to the modifiers tab, hit apply on that, and of course on the subdivision surface, and now we will forever have our cloth. We can move it around. We can actually go into edit mode and edit these vertices independently with the G key to move around. Super awesome stuff. Of course, like I said, if you want to animate that, you will need to use uh, the modifier and leave it the way it is. So there you have it, our cloth right there. It is swinging around perfectly. And now what we can do is we can render this. Like I said, uh, that is one of the simplest things you can do in Blender. It is one of the best. Um, and the way we can fix this really quickly, uh, we can fix it's colliding with itself a bit much right there. As you can tell if I scroll around, it's colliding and kind of intersecting with itself. So if we go to the cloth modifier right there and tick cloth collision and turn on self collision right there turn the quality up a little bit and the distance uh up a little bit if you play this one more time you'll be able to tell that the collision is gone now it does not collide with itself if we turn it back off you should be able to tell if i play this one more time you'll see it it will collide and intersect with itself right there looks a bit weird so we can turn that back on and play it again so that is it for the cloth tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i will see you guys in the next one but until then bye